Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the big old world. I happen to be in Adelaide on holiday. My name is Jade, this is How to App on iOS, holiday edition. I may be here, I may be there, I may be everywhere, green eggs and ham. But I'm most likely in the chat on holiday. I hope you're all doing well. Today, we're going to look at iFretless Brass. Yeah, so uh, last week we looked at the iFretless Bass and that was really, really cool. So I thought, let's have a look at this Brass app because this thing's really cool as well. Going to do things a little bit different, just do a brief overview of how it all works because in the base episode we went all into the in-depth analysis of how everything works but we'll just do a little brief one today and then I'm just going to mess around with it with a bit of black hole on top and we'll see what we can uh, get cooking. So if you are watching on Facebook what are you doing? Are you crazy? Get over here to YouTube at youtube.com slash jadestar or you can watch the episode live every day well when it is live not a... <laughs> Not a pre-recorded show like today. You can jump over to howtoapponios.com and always watch the show in the browser. And you can get merch there and you can watch playlists and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, go ahead and do that if you so like to. Speaking of like, you can like these videos if you want. Or you don't have to. And subscribe if you haven't already because I do know that about 28.3% of you who watch these shows aren't subscribed to the channel. So please do so. It would make me happy. And that's a good thing. So uh, while we're all, uh, I'm away and I'm in the chat most likely, um, I don't know really who's in the chat. So let's just take a guess. Hello, Joe. <laughs> Hello, Doug. Hello, Dr. Zorders. Hello, uh, Tom Rochelle, you're always here. Hello, Pete Johns. Hello, Kim, are you here as well? I don't know, is Deep Gravity here? I don't know. This is like um, Chat Lotto. So every, if I get if I get your name, I'll we'll get a bingo, yeah? So that, that's how I guess I, I could win. What about Russ? I'm sure Russ is here. What about Jade? Yes, I'm here in the chat. Of course I am. I'm on holiday, but I'm still here. Hey, whoever you are, and if you are in the chat, thank you for being here. If I missed your name, give me a break. I'm recording this. It's pre-recorded, folks. Yeah, all right? Anyway, <laughs> are there any uh, price drops now? Remember, these might not be current, but they are on the day that I uh, actually recorded this. So you can see at the top of the screen, there's a clock there. So you know I'm recording this. What is it, on a Friday Australian time? This is going to get all Inception-like again at about 11 o'clock. So, but let's have a look at the apps that are on sale as of today. And hopefully they still are by the time you watch this. Finally, Hymns and Songs of Zion is finally dropped down from $6.99 to $5.99. Oh, I've been waiting for Hymns and Songs of Zion to drop down. Now I can finally get it, you know. <laughs> finally, great, good times. But also uh, is the Amplitude Mesa Boogie app down from $29.99 to $7.99. That's a massive saving, yeah? But I'm sure it has in-app purchases. So that's why the little asterisk is there on the end. There you go, see, asterisk. So that's what it normally means. But look at this. Mixbox is down from $79.99 down to $49.99. That's pretty cheap. So if that's still on sale when you're watching this, I reckon you go grab it. I've done a video on it previously. If you haven't seen that, go and watch it. I think I did two videos on it. So go and do that. Midi Strummer says still on sale here. And uh, as we scroll down... Scroll down. Uh, the cat video is gone. Yeah, I don't have to buy that crap anyway. Let's jump in and have a look at the iFretless Brass, yeah? So, as I said, I've got this opened up in AUM. It's already preset, so we'll just open this up. So, what I have done here is uh, loaded it as an instrument, an AUV3 instrument, and I've just thrown on a little bit of Black Hurl. There you go, so it's not not too big, it's a small size, room there, half-half mix, not anything fancy, just like a, a little bit of a mini room there, just to give it a bit of body and stuff. And here we are, so this is the interface, if you uh, watch the brass 
uh, sorry, the base. We're doing the brass now. What are you talking about? If you watch the base episode, you'll see this uh, resembles guitar strings. And what's really cool about it, if I just jump over, you can see here with these strings, the, uh, I guess the, the brassy tones uh, like your white keys on a keyboard and the darker ones are like your black keys on a keyboard but done in like a guitar string or bass string kind of setup. So it's really cool if you're a guitar player or if you're a keyboard player, you still get an idea of how to use this. So um, when you load it up initially, and again, down the bottom here is where you control it. You've got this little cog, and when you hold your finger down there, down the bottom, it brings up this menu. So uh, when I open this up, the first thing that's come up is a wah trombone. And you do get a whole lot of instruments in here. Let's just have a look. So there are a crap load of instruments. Look at them all. You've got a wah trombone, a wah synth trombone, tuba, trumpet, trombone, penny lane, PM synth, organ, muted wah trumpet, muted trumpet, mellow trumpet, French horn, flugelhorn, final countdown, burr, 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 euphorium, bright trombone, brass band three, brass band two, brass band one, and Africa. So the difference between this and the uh, bass amp is you can actually create full brass bands so you can have three instruments so if you just close this out here you'll see you've got your primary instrument there as a trombone and down here you can have two other instruments and you can make up a three-piece uh, section a brass section there and uh, the other great thing here if we just click on this secondary instruments when you click on this you can actually blend them together or you can arrange as a single channel MIDI. So what that is, when you hold down one string, it plays an instrument. When you add a, another two strings, it plays the second and third instrument. So you're creating on, on top of that. But I'll show you a bit of that once we get to that instrument. Again, the um, other controls here, are very similar to the other um, I fretless bass. So you can actually control the volume range and the sample velocity range because uh, this is very touch sensitive. Uh, which I'll show you in a second. Reverb size, pretty standard stuff there. You've got an equalizer. You can control your MIDI uh, stuff. Um, and your on-screen stuff you can control here. So you're transposing your tuning system from fourths to guitar, tritone, fifths, all that kind of stuff. You can choose the number of frets and the number of strings. So uh, pretty much the same kind of deal as what you get with the I fretless bass. If you haven't seen that video, go back and look at it. We're just going to run through a few sounds here. Um, just to show you, I'm going to flick over to my second cam. Hello. So, um, like we showed in the uh, first video, when you just touch one of the strings, so I'm just going to touch this G string, this low G. So I'm barely touching that. So you've got really great control over that with the, the pressure of each string. You can really, you know, get different uh, the levels of volume out of that and, and velocity out of it just by touching. So let's just uh, show you here. So if I go through a, um, I'm going to touch this G and D and G here. So right there I had four fingers, so going from this A, E, let's see if I can uh, show you how that works with the... So you can really build some fantastic notes there, and even just a single... So the vibrato works really well on this. And this is just this, um, what was it? It was a wah trumpet, I think it was. Yeah. 
Plus, you can also have your MIDI controller set up. So I have my uh, Turia uh, Keystep 37 here, but it works a little bit different because, see here, you can have multiple strings and create these great chords but with the touch screen, which is what this app is definitely made for. But when you use the keyboard, it doesn't work like that. So you can only really do one string at a time. It's not like a multi uh, kind of setup there. But again, the velocities are beautiful in this. So if I go down a little bit. And how cool is this? So if I uh, hold my finger down on this E here. You can do, you can control, so with one hand on your actual MIDI keyboard. And do a combination of stuff, which is really interesting as well. Um, because you can't do two strings at a uh, two uh, keys at a time on here. Pretty cool, yeah? I really like this app. So what I'm gonna do is just um, go back to this main screen here. Let's go through some of, so you hold down this little cog down the bottom. I'll show you that again. I love how it's just out of the way. There's nothing else on the screen here. So you just hit this little cog and you gotta hold it down. So you can't just can't bump it. So it gives you a three count to actually open the settings. I love that, I think that's brilliant. Um, so let's go to the top. We're gonna to click this Africa one. What's going on here, yeah? Let's uh, see what's going on. I'm gonna turn my microphone down. I'm gonna turn this up and we're just gonna go through some of the instruments and you can uh, hear what's happening. Okay, see you on the other side. All right, so this is one of the first of the uh, brass bands. So when I turn this on, you can see what it's done here has added a range single MIDI channel or blend. So the instruments that are in, in this when you set it up is the trombone, euphonium and tuba. So with this arrange single uh, channel MIDI, watch what happens. So as I hit each different string, a diff one, uh, uh, the different um, brass instrument is played. Whereas if I hold down the settings again and now choose blend, it actually puts them all together at the same time. So when I hold down one note, they're all being played at the same time. Pretty cool. So let's try the next one. So it's a brass band two. And uh, we'll just go to the blend first and then we'll go over to the other one. Boom, listen to that.
And again, if we uh, go back here and change from blend to arrange, you'll hear how when I bring in each string, so once again, we're on this G down the bottom. So that was a trombone, a euphonium, and tuba. If we go to brass band three, what do we get there? And again, so this time we got a trumpet two, euphonium, and tuba. And again, this is set to the set of the single MIDI thing, so it's each note. So we'll just do this G again. So we've got that trumpet to open up. Some really beautiful sounds in here and again i just have a uh, very you saw at the start very light um black hole in there just to you know give it some body so this is a uh, back to a single instrument here so we've got a bright trombone here we hit close and um Really beautiful sounds. Um, the euphonium. And I'm just touching the screen with all of these, so, you know, uh, I wonder what the final countdown is. <laughs> so I'm using my keyboard uh, there to uh, get that. Yeah, what else we got? Who can go past the lovely flugelhorn? Yes, flugelhorn for all. French horn? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Um, <laughs> what the hell?
I think these are lovely. I think they're very subtle. So now we've got a trumpet here. And so that's a mellow trumpet. We've got a muted trumpet. Let's go through that. So I switched over to the keyboard there so you can hear what else we've got a muted wah trumpet. So we have a PM synth horn. subtle stuff. Penny Lane, I wonder what that's going to be. <laughs> Beautifully sampled stuff. So, we've got a, just a plain trombone. Now, at any time, if you look here, you can uh, actually add in secondary instruments anytime you want. So, you can hit blend, and once you hit that, you've got the option to put anything you want in here. So, you've got a trombone, you could add a trumpet too. You can go in here and add a French horn, and uh, hit close, and bang. <laughs> see even though you're not seeing my fingers touch when I hold down one of the strings so if I hold down this bottom string you can see it vibrating there and once again if I just change this blare to this uh, blend to this MIDI section now I've got control over the three different instruments Lovely jubbly, yeah. Um, where were we? The trombone, and we've got a plain trumpet. Let's hit a tuba up, see what that's going on. Oops, copyright claim. Love. 
lovely jubbly jubbly what else is in here we started off with a wah trombone and we got a wah synth trombone let's play with that for a bit now you notice when i hit kick that off then i hit that really hard now i'm going to do it really soft So yeah, the touch controls, and you can change these uh, velocity ranges, so I can bring these velocity ranges down to volume ranges. And now when I touch hard, I'm really hitting that hard and it's much softer. And you can do the same thing with your actual, um, so we'll give that a bit of volume back up. So now that range is back up and you can actually do that with your MIDI controller. So you've got your on-screen stuff here. You can change the touch sensitivity down here with this. Plus you can also do it with your MIDI controller down here. So now I'm hitting these keys much harder. So when it's down, the curve is there. You're going to get a much louder sound and the higher you put it up. Which is really cool. Um, let's just pop over. We'll grab. We'll, uh, we'll just throw on this trumpet. So as you can hear, the sounds are fantastic. <laughs> Really beautiful stuff, but once again, it doesn't stop there because if you close out of this, now if we uh, just pull down the volume of this and we kick off another track, track here, you can actually load up this app as an effect and go into uh, iFretless. It's not what we want it, iFretless. Where are you? Where'd you go? Oh, you, you need, um, we want, uh, what is it? It's brass. Why can't I find it? Why can't I find it? Uh, so we actually want to... Oh, that's... <laughs> Let's just get rid of this. So, um, I'm doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong, Jade. Stop trying to teach people the wrong thing. So you hit plus and add MIDI. Then hit plus audio unit extensions. Do a search for iFretless. And we want the brass, which is what we're doing the show on. Now, this can control whatever you want to put in here. So I can... Uh, uh, load up let's go to an audio unit extension let's uh, find I don't know let's do let's see if it works with a piano will that work I don't know so let's do Ravenscroft yeah there we go Ravenscroft so we've loaded up Ravenscroft it's got even tied still as a effect there and now I'm just gonna hit on the little hamburger icon up here and we're gonna control this with I fretless brass let's see if it works if it doesn't, I'm a failure. So now I should be able to hit these and see it's not working. I'm not getting anything there. See? <laughs> Do I have to connect this? I don't think so. I think I've got it. I'm doing it the right way, but maybe it doesn't work with that. Let's try um, doing it with something else that we did it on the last show with because uh, it worked. Let's try House of Mark. Will that work? I don't know. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong! I am, I'm doing it wrong. What am I doing wrong? Um, maybe do I have to... Uh... Um, I can't remember. <laughs> Here you go, I'm a dickhead. That's, that's what I am. Um, let's just... We're not getting any sound out of this whatsoever. So something else is going on here. Let's uh, unplug this. Go away. So I'm not getting any sound anyway. So there's something else afoot. Um, 
Do I have to pick a sound? I've got the Arturia selected. Maybe. Let's just try this. Yeah. Let's just remove that. Oh, I know what it was. That's cool. So let's now uh, choose an audio unit here. I'm just going to grab this grand piano, see if this one works. Then we want a MIDI, and then we want iFretless. I hope that the iFretless brass actually does control. It should do. Let's see. There we go. So we had an issue there, but just with things not connecting. So now we have connected. So you can play your piano through here. How cool is that? And you can add any um, AUV3 that you would like in here. So if we go back and try Ravenscroft again, do a search. Ravenscroft. And just make sure here that it's controlled by iFretless. And just to show you that I am doing it on there. So the, how cool is that? That's really, really wicked, I think, anyway. I think that's super cool that you can control that. Uh, we'll try something else. We'll throw something else in there. What else can we throw in there? What's something else before we wrap up today? We could throw in, I don't know, a Synthmaster 1. That should work as well. And... Uh, Let's just randomly flick through and see what we've got here. Oops. We've got to select and. cool yeah I think it's a great app uh, so we'll be looking at also the um, iFretless sax in another episode so thank you very much for joining me today I hope uh, this has got you all excited how much does it cost though we didn't look at that so let's shut this out and do a quick search and show you exactly how much it is we'll just open up this we shall do a search for iFretless brass and so there you go it's nine dollars and 99 so pretty damn cheap for something so damn cool yeah um look if you were on the fence about buying the uh, brass instruments by swarm recently this is a great alternative i think you know you don't want to lay out the money for any other expensive one because you know those things are quite expensive now that they've gone up but you get a whole lot of really high quality brass instruments in here. So I would definitely look that up. And you know, you can control other apps with it as a MIDI. And there's a whole lot of other stuff which I didn't really go through that I, may, uh, that I went through in the uh, bass episode. What do you think? Pretty damn cool? Yeah? How weird is it doing shows when there's no audience? <laughs> It's creepy as hell for me. Anyway, I hope everything is going well with you. Thank you for being here in the chat. I don't know who's here, so but I'm here with you, and I'm. Uh, if I, if you are watching this, I am in the chat, so never fear. Oh man, Inception again, so creepy, so weird. There you go. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying your time. I hope you enjoyed this show. Like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Let me know that you are liking it. Leave a comment or two. It makes me happy. And uh, do the things that make you happy because that's important. Because you know as well as I, we all rise together. 
and mistakes make you better so yeah i'll be back from holiday soon probably got one more episode to go of this crazy inception away but here but somewhere else and uh so we'll see you again thanks for hanging out and uh catch you later i can hear the music all the way from adelaide can you hear it i'm coming mom seriously thanks for hanging out and we'll see you later Bye-bye.